In the East Coast flood in 1953, over 300 people died. Uh, this makes it one of the worst natural disasters in Britain in the 20th century. Um, about 24,000 people were ev evacuated and 32,000 houses were, were uh, damaged. And at the time, uh, it cost about 30 million to repair the, the, the flood defences and houses. Before this event, there was no national uh, flood warning system. Um, afterwards, there was one developed and it was ran centrally because before the event, there had been a small uh, system on the east coast, but that was run by local government and local um, drainage boards. Um, whereas after the event, it became a national symptoms, uh, system um, run by national organisations like the Met Office and the Hydrographic Office. There was, uh, a couple of years ago, in 2007, there was a storm surge uh, that could have been about the same height and it was forecast by the uh, now computerised warning system a couple of days in advance. The government he held a COBRA meeting, so their, um, their uh, emergency committee met. Um, and in the, the and media was there and everything was, people were evacuated and so on. In the end, thankfully, the flooding w didn't materialise because um, the storm surge wasn't quite this, the timing that they'd forked a day or so in advance. Uh, if an event like 1953 happened again, um, we would be much better warned of it. And there are also much more flood defences now, so they, the, the impact on the houses would be much uh, less. However, in the future, with climate change, sea level is supposed to, to rise. Uh, this is going to make the impact of storm surges worse, because, simply because the sea level is higher than it is currently. Um, and so we need to plan ahead and we need to think about how we're going to deal with it because it may be too expensive to keep defending uh, the coast as we have been doing up to now.